These cards use analogies to explain visible phenomena or set expectations of what the visitor might see in the telescope. They explain filters and the solar cycle and expand on the concepts of magnetism. Some of the cards need to be used outdoors. You'll see this little symbol of the sun on the back of those, indicating it's an outdoor activity. For many of the cards, you don't need a telescope or even a sunny day. You could use them at a clouded out event or inside. For example, this one asks, if you could stand the heat, could you stand on the sun? The back of the card gives the answer to the question. This one illustrates the concept that the sun doesn't have a solid surface. Let's see how you might use these cards to manage the line at your solar scope. We know the Earth rotates quickly and you don't want to step away from your telescope. Don't worry, you won't have to. You can simply pass them out to a line of people or use them to answer questions like this. We have two different types of telescopes here today looking at the sun. That one over there has a hydrogen alpha filter on it that makes the sun appear red. Uh, this one has a plain white light filter on it. Uh, these two scopes show different features. Uh, here, this explains more about what you'll see. When you're finished, pass it on. Feel free to ask me any questions. Wow, is that really the sun? Yes, it is. Uh, what do you see? There's a dark spot in the lower right hand. <laughs> Good eye. There sure is. Those are sunspots, and they're caused by magnetic fields popping through the surface of the sun. Uh, here. Uh, this has an illustration of why we see sunspots. Hey, isn't it dangerous to look at the sun? Yes. Without proper eye protection, looking at the sun can be very dangerous. Uh, this telescope has a filter specifically designed for viewing the sun. Here. Here are a few safe ways to look at the sun. Take a look at that card. Thank you. Sure. If you want to see a cool demo on why sunspots appear dark, check out this tube. The directions are right there on the side. Thanks for waiting so patiently to see the sun today. I, I don't think you'll dis be disappointed. While you're waiting, I I'd like to share some fun facts about the sun and what you'll see when you get up here. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, who likes pasta? <laughs> Did you know that the sun and a boiling pot of spaghetti have a lot in common? Uh, check out this card. Uh, can you tell me how you use magnets every day? You don't always think about it, but magnets are everywhere in our everyday lives. Take a look at these cards and pass them on to the next person when you're finished. You know, a lot of the features that you're going to see when you get up here to the telescope are caused by the sun's incredibly dynamic... Dave mentioned the tube demonstration that you can do to show why sunspots look so dark on the sun, even though they're still a blazing hot 4,000 degrees Celsius. That's another one of the cards, this one attached to the tube. Sunspots are simply cooler and therefore not as bright as the surrounding 6,000 degree surface of the sun. You can walk someone through it, or the instructions are right there on the side of the tube. These are the steps. First, let the sun shine in the tube to charge up the glow-in-the-dark paint. Then, look into the tube, pointing it to the bright sky, not to the sun. Notice that the spots of paint look dark, silhouetted against the bright cap. That represents what sunspots on the sun look like, darker than the surrounding sun. Put your hand over the end of the cap so it's no longer backlit. This is like blocking out all of the light from the sun's photosphere and only letting the light from the sunspot shine through. The spots now look bright. Realize they haven't changed in brightness. Our sun's spots look dark simply because of the hotter, brighter background that surrounds them. Another card that visitors can interact with during solar observing events addresses one of the less pleasant ways that we interact with the sun, the ultraviolet light that gives us a sunburn. Now we can't see UV light with our eyes, but we can use these UV beads to detect it. If you take these outside, you'll notice that the beads shaded under the hat are white. 
and the one above the crown that is exposed to sunlight is purple. This activity is designed to be self-explanatory. The only thing to keep an eye on is that the hat is placed back upright so that the beads under the hat have a chance to fade back to white. This can take a few minutes.